Hey everyone, my name is Alex Ramsby. I'm an MSP consultant here at Proval Tech. Today I wanted to go over building a group where you're trying to push installs and kind of how you would build that hierarchy on software deployment, especially if you were using groups versus maybe a monitor, because you could do either. But what we would start with is building a group, getting it applied, a search that we want, and we'll get into where those complexities of that search get. And then maybe just building our hierarchy from there. Let's get into it. So from here, after we log in, what I want to do is start my group. And depending on how you have your group set up, maybe you already have kind of a software group or something like that. Maybe something you're deploying. Maybe it's just called deployment. You would kind of build that out first. And so in this case, I don't have anything currently, or at least nothing that I want to use in my environment here. So I will build a custom group and maybe I just call it software deployment. And you could populate this in so many different ways. You could do uh, a client search. You could do like a client EDF search, or even at the computer level, you could attach it that way. I'm going to leave it blank for now and leave it as a manual join group. So I'll hit create. If I close these windows, because it should appear here. Come down to software deployment. Looks like my group didn't show up yet. All right, there's my group here. So what I want to do from, from now is build another group under it, depending on how you want to actually deploy this out. And in my case, what I want to do is build a installed, maybe it's like an AV and you're building on a, a managed software or something that says not installed. And then anything in this group has maybe a monitor or script scheduled against it or monitor targeting it, basically saying, if it's in this group, push the install as soon as it checks in. And so in here, I might say like, Chrome not installed. And I just emphasized the actual not, which is okay. And then I would do a search here, but I don't have one built yet. So I will hit create, make sure that that populates correctly under here. Should be okay to close both of these windows here. So I have a Chrome not installed. And now what I wanna do is build a search so if I come under automation searches and then advanced searches, I will get a window that looks like this. And I pulled up just a previous video where I'm looking for anywhere where the Chrome is installed on that machine. And so what I can do is switch this to say, and, and then um, add a not and. So I wanna say add a new group and then turn this into a not and. What this does is it's basically saying anything that this has to be true, but this can't be true. So I'm saying and, and then the next condition. So and where not computer has Chrome installed. And this is gonna give you some very interesting results. So don't, don't panic when you, when I click search here. It will list every software that isn't Chrome, so that's pretty obvious, but that means that um, I probably want to say it will list all of the machines that have the software not installed or all of the machines where this is not the software name. So what I want to do is call it Alex's Chrome not installed search, give that a save. And then if you're updating a search or you've loaded a search to kind of template from, you'll get this pop-up that says save as a new search. And then if you, if you say no, it will overwrite the current one. And so in this case, it is a new search and I wanna say yes. Yes, save as a new search. Give that a quick minute to refresh here. Shout out to the uh, MSP Geek community here. This is actually something in the post. I'll put the link in the description to 
to the actual form where this is explained a little bit better. And then inside of here, I wanna go back into my group. So just double click on my group. Come back to the auto join searches top right. And depending on how quickly I searched, it may not show up here. So depending on how slow your automate is at the time, I know how it goes. You may have to close and reopen the group or you may just have to reload cache if it didn't work the first time. In my case, it looks like it did work here. So I'm just going to select that. And a quick fun fact, this limit to search means that I can't manually put computers in here. If I do, it will kick them out the next cycle that it tries to refresh the group. If you leave that blank, it will auto join any machine in there and I can say send to group on a machine and it will stay in that group forever. Like there's no auto kick out at the end. So specifically for software installs, I would recommend doing that because I would say something like where it's not installed. And so if I say limit to search, then as soon as it gets installed, the next time that search comes through, it will detect as installed and kick it out of the group, which is what we want. We don't want that install running constantly. So I'll click save. And then as you're building groups here, one thing you'll notice is that it doesn't populate right away. So what I've done or what you can do is click the preview run and it will say which machines are gonna join. And of course it lists all of the machines here. So what I wanna do from here is say auto join now and it says it could take a few minutes. To expedite that, what you can do is come over to the help menu, server status, and you have a refresh searches, which takes about a minute, and then also the group refresh here. So if we give that about a minute to run, these should start populating. Worst case, and I don't, I recommend this only as a last resort, you can restart the database agent. It basically does a soft reset to the SQL database, and then we'll start triggering everything. So if we give that just a minute here, and if I click, you have to actually click refresh here in order for any computers to show up. Looks like it worked. All of the commands went through pretty quickly here. I didn't have to wait long at all, just clicking those two buttons. And so now if I come back in here, I'll come up to computer. Ideally, if I'm doing this, I'm doing it via a scheduled script or monitor, depending on what you're doing. Probably a monitor is going to be better because you can say, has it checked in recently, then run the script as the alert template. In my case, we'll just keep it simple. So I will pick, you know, push Google Chrome, Google Chrome installer under the examples folder, just as an example. And in this case, I want it to run daily until it's out of the group. I can have it run once and that should work, but it automates flawed logic sometimes. It may fail once and then it would never run again. So what I would like to do is I'd like to run it once a day and then the group should refresh multiple times a day. So ideally, if it doesn't catch it today, then tomorrow, or if it keeps failing, it keeps remaining in the group, but at least you're not missing out on a single failure because of one reg key or reboot pending or something like that, especially if you're pushing like an AV software. And all you have to do is schedule it here. I do recommend under the advanced to leave skipped offline agents checked just because something that you can do or run into is actually when you are scheduling scripts manually, if you have too many scripts running against groups or things like that, you can actually bottleneck your server and not enough scripts can get through because everything is waiting for machines to come back online. So definitely recommend turning to skip offline agents, click add, comes down here and it says the script is Chrome installer. It's running every day. It does have the search. If you don't know what that is, check out a previous video that I've just made where we can limit to even further. So like in the last video I talked about, you can put it on a service plan. I recommend doing it there. But if you have something that you more specific on that you want to do like a double search with, so even a search within this group, you could totally add a limit to search here even. 
and then hit add and it would update there. And it does tell you who it's scheduled by and things like that. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvileTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.